Welcome. Who are we doing this for? Oh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay. Sorry. All of a sudden, I spend so much time meditating, I forget who what side I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> okay. Sagittarius. Blah. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Golden egg. I just heard golden goose. Great. Slain song, by the way. You should listen to that. Golden goose. But anyways, we got golden egg, which is ace of cups. So I was like, okay, well, what comes with the Ace of Cups? We got the Octopus. Aw, I just dropped it. And the Beave. The old Beave. The old Beaver Fever. So, Octopus is the Nine of Cups. And the Beaver is the Eight of Pentacles. So right away I was like, oh my gosh. What I think is going to happen is I actually think that um, somebody is going to find a home. Isn't that nice? And like, and like a home that they can indulge in and a home that they can get everything that they need in, right? Like a home is different for everybody, okay? Sometimes home is where the heart is. Sometimes home is where the feet are, okay? Sometimes home is a hotel room. You know, it just depends what your definition of home is, okay? Um, this person's definition of a home is like something that they can work really hard at. Like, especially with the beef, I'm like, you know, beavers work really hard and I kind of see you making it a home. You know, that if you do come across something or you do end up moving or you do end up purchasing something, then it's like you work really hard to get that house the way that you need it. You know, the way that you're most comfortable in something. So that's, that's, I feel like where we're going with this Ace of Cups, but we don't quite know because it's an egg and an egg, we never really know what's going to come out on the inside. Okay. Um, but I'm hoping this is good. Okay. So we have the sun of wands. Okay. We have the strength in reverse. We have the chariot. We have the two of wands in reverse. We have the three of cups that actually I laid in reverse and then no other cards would follow it. So I put it upright and then the sun came out. So I'm like, okay, so along with this new home, okay, comes new friends. Okay. And this is movement forward. So it's like, you know, when this Knight of Wands comes in with this Ace of Cups, okay, I feel like maybe put your guard down. You know, like, you don't have to be the sheer fierce of a lion or a lioness all the time, right? It's like, be smarter than that right now to yourself. Like, yes, somebody might come out of the blue with some ridiculous offer, but it's not out of the blue per se, because they could have been thinking about it for a while, and it's not some spark that's going to go out necessarily either so it's like spirits kind of saying like you know this this son of wands wants to move you forward or some type of idea that you're getting the spark that you're getting wants to move you forward okay but you have there's there seems to be no direction okay and that's with the two of wands if you don't know where you're going how are you supposed to get there Right? So it's like when the sun comes out, it's like, ha you know, it's that happy, joyous moment of like that sun hitting you and just feeling like, oh my God, that warmth hits you. That's the way that this new house or home is going to hit you. You know, that hearth, that, that family home of, you know, the log burning on the fire and, you know, you get into your comfy plaid pajamas and you sit and watch a snowstorm, you know, with a cup of cocoa and some perfect person beside you. I mean, it's, it's bliss and it's asking you to think bliss because why not? Why can't you have that? Right. Is it something you don't believe in? Is it something that you think is in the movies like gone with the wind, like gone with the wind? Yeah. Okay. It's a total, you know, fuckery when you think about it with people, you know, like they think that romance like that's happened. But the thing is, is that romance does like, does happen like that and it and it can exist if you are pure enough to feel something like that and not think that it's something you can buy or something that's just going to be offered to you you kind of have to be in that energy i've never seen that movie by the way i just imagine it's 
some type of romance movie that's a little, you know, got women thinking that men were really like that. And, like, of course men are like that. But you have to understand, so women have to be just as open. Right? So it's like, you know, wherever, whatever, wherever you want to go with this chariot, okay, you can move. But it's like, please don't scare this person off or please don't scare yourself off. Because I think it's going to be something that you're really going to dive into once you get there. So, what time are we at? Okay. Because, like, these friends, and that's, that's the last thing, is these friends that come in, you have to let them in. You know, you have to decide if you want to spend time with people or not. Because if you don't, they'll disappear. This new place you go... You know, it could be work-related, could be home-related, could be a trip-related, and you, you take a trip and you realize you want to live there. You know, like, friends come and go, but good ones that you can perch yourself up with and hang out with are hard to find. Good ones are hard to find. So if you want to let these people in and take a chance, let these people in and take a chance. Because the sun is right there going, that's how you grow. But if you don't want to... No one's going to force you, right? You're still going to have the home or the hearth or the, you know, ace of cups that you want anyways. So I think that's it. I think that's all I want to say. We're wrapping up two rounds, so I'll be starting all the signs again. Thank you for watching. Moonshine out. Have a good weekend. Be safe.